Today we're talking about the Fluger President XT. It is an improvement of Fluger's most popular reel, the Fluger President. Before we get into the reel review, I went and picked up another Fluger President XT to give away to one of you guys at the end of this video. So watch the full video to the end to figure out how to win this reel right here. So about the Fluger President XT, it is the improvement of the Fluger President. It is 10% lighter. It is a lot faster. It has a six two to one gear ratio compared to the Fluger President's five two to one gear ratio. So it reels in a lot faster and it is a lot smoother than the other reel. And I mean, just look at it. It is one of Fluger's coolest looking reels. It looks absolutely gorgeous. And it is by far one of my favorite reels to use. And here's why. So I've been using this reel as my trout reel for the last two years. So I've been using it for a long time. So I know what I'm talking about when I say, this is an amazing reel. For $100, there is a lot of reels you can get, but this is by far my favorite because it is smooth, it casts really well, and I've never had a single problem. But one of my favorite aspects about this reel is not only is it extremely light, it is designed to take a beating. Let me tell you, I have dropped this thing on rocks. I have put it through mud. I have put it through sand. I've left it under the water for a little bit. Yeah, I put it through a lot more than it's designed to go for, but it is good to know that it can handle all that very, very well. I was just fishing about two weeks ago, and I hooked a really big trout, and I wasn't even thinking where I put my reel. I put it right in the sand as I went to grab that fish out of the water, and I left it in the sand for probably five minutes while I was unhooking it, getting some pictures, putting it back in the water, and it got covered in sand, and it did not have a single problem whatsoever. It still reeled perfectly, and I haven't had a single problem yet with this reel. Like I said, it's an amazing reel. It's probably one of Fluger's best reels for the price. It's $100, which is a little bit expensive for Fluger, but no matter what the price is for this reel, it is absolutely worth it. In between the Fluger President, we have the Fluger Summit XT. It's a little bit more expensive than the President, and a little bit less expensive than the President XT. So if you're looking for something a little bit cheaper but still holds its value the summit xt is the one to go for i have the summit xt the president and the president xt link down below in my description there's amazon links to each of these reels if you guys want to check them out overall i'm in love with this reel i'll get into some specifications in a little bit and at the end of this video i'll add some clips of it in action doing casts reeling in all that showing me catching some fish with it so you guys know it is a real deal it catches fish and it is an amazing reel there's a lot of reels you get for a hundred dollars i know that but for $25 more than the president, it is a huge, huge difference in quality. If you're planning on doing a lot of casts, throwing artificials, casting back and forth, doing a whole bunch of reeling, this is the reel to go with. If you're just looking for more of a casual beginner reel, I highly recommend the Fluga President. As I said, they're linked down below if you guys wanna pick one up. I'll go into some specifications on this reel right now. Just starting out, 10 ball bearings, same as all the other Fluger reels. It has an aluminum main shaft compared to some of the other reels. It is 30% lighter than steel. So aluminum shaft makes it lighter. That is why it's such a light reel. One of my favorite aspects of the reel is the carbon fiber handle. It is a carbon handle, which is 21% lighter than aluminum. And it looks absolutely amazing on this reel. I mean, I'm in love with the look of this reel and this nice carbon is just glorious. I mean, it doesn't get much smoother than that. You can almost not even feel yourself reeling it. It of course has sealed drag like most other reels have, so nothing gets in your drag system and it keeps all the stuff from corroding inside. It has the rubber cork knob, which is pretty much the same as every single other reel. Another thing that I like about this reel is it's got the drag ready spool. You can tie your drag around it and tighten it. A lot of reels don't have this, so I have to put tape or mono before I put the drag. So if you guys are unfamiliar with using braid, you wanna use mono or tape if it doesn't have something to tie around it because if you use mono or tape before you put on the braid, it will keep it from slipping. But I haven't had any problem with drag slipping on this reel. Each size of reel is a little bit different. This is the 30, which is the one I'm giving away. You can use this reel for just about anything. Bass, pike, trout, walleye. It's perfect overall reel. I have the 20 on this one, which is what I like to use for trout because I like to fish ultralight. If you want to go even bigger, you can get a 35. I think 30 is the perfect size for this reel because you can catch just about anything on it. So in conclusion, the reel itself is amazing. I haven't had any problems with it. I've cast it a whole bunch. I've been using it for the last two years. And like I said, I put it through a lot more than this reel should handle and it worked just perfectly. Still cast perfect, still reels perfect, and everything is great about it. I love the drag system too. It has a really good drag system, and really, I don't have any single problem with it. Yeah, it's $100, it's gonna cost you a pretty penny, but it is absolutely worth it in the long run. I am giving away one of these reels to one of you guys. All you have to do is watch the full video, comment down below why you deserve 
to win this reel and make sure you have liked the video and are subscribed to my YouTube channel. I got a lot more fun videos coming, but I will be giving this away to one of you guys. Just comment down below why you deserve to win it and you could be the winner of this brand new reel. But yeah, back to what I was saying. It's an amazing reel. No problem whatsoever in the last two years with it. It works amazing. There's a lot of reels you can get for $100, but I highly recommend this one. I trust Fluger. I own probably 30 of their Presidents, 15 of their Summit XTs, a few of their Tryons, and a few of their Monarch Ice. But you don't know, Tryon is one of their cheapest reels. It's $40. I made a review on that one. I made a review on the President. I made a review on the Summit XT and the Monarch Ice. And overall, this reel right here is by far my favorite. And yeah, it's going to cost you a little bit more than the other reels, but it is going to be absolutely worth it because you will not have a problem with this reel whatsoever. I mean, these things will last 20 years. All right, now I'm gonna play some clips of the last few weeks of me actually using this reel in action so you can see it on the water, doing casts, catching fish, and having some fun with it. I'll play the clips right now. Let's do another cast. Uh, are we gonna get a back-to-back -back trout? I actually wouldn't be surprised. Yep, that's, there we go. There we go, back-to-back -back fish. She ain't half bad either. Nice, get in here. Looks like a little bit bigger than the last one. Nothing crazy, but these fish are just gorgeous. Doesn't matter if they're big or small. I know trout streams enough to know that a hole like this is gonna have a lot of fish in it. I haven't even cast into it yet. I know, first cast, I can pull a fish out of here. Watch this. What'd I say? What'd I say? Not even a bad one either. Okay, she is showing off for the camera. Doing a few jumps. First cast, first fish. You guys hear what I said? Now this right here, this looks really good. It's deep, it's got current. It's actually really deep. Should be something in here. Hopefully something nice. This is where I'd expect the big fish to be. Oh, that's nice. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Not a half bad trout actually. No, oh, that's a beauty. Oh, that's a gorgeous brown. Using this current though. It's probably the biggest one I've caught in a while. Get in here. That's a beautiful trout. Calm, calm. Gotcha. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. I'd say about 16, 15, 16 inches. Maybe a little bit over. A beautiful fish. Look at that. He's starting to get that little lip right there. Nice. Gorgeous. Gorgeous brown trout. That's exactly what I'm talking about, guys. That was a 14, 15 incher. He's following it, he's following it, and he got him. That's what I'm talking about there. Beautiful colors on him too. Oh, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous fish. Not as big as I thought it was. A beautiful fish nonetheless. The colors on him are amazing. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's about 14 inches. I mean, give or take a few. But she is a beauty. I mean, just look at her. Gorgeous fish. I would say, yeah, about 14 inches. But the colors on this fish are incredible. All right, it is time to get you right back in the water, buddy. What a beautiful fish. Let's let her swim free. All right, let's get this fish in the water, guys. <laughs> 